Let's backtrack a little bit. <laughs> sure. So, you know, I get it right, and I don't get in trouble, you know. Right. Let Sal tell the story. I figured, uh, you know, things. I've had a rough time with my wife. I'm going to take her out and make her part of the, of the crew, so to speak. Yeah. So, you know, she had a good time. I went to the bar. She sat with Ronnie. Ronnie's pouring drinks like down her throat. That's what she wants to be part of the crew. <laughs> I want to make her feel like she's... Well, what do you mean Ronnie's pouring drinks down her throat? She's, Ronnie's together. giving her drinks and she's drinking them. Right. Well, there's having... a fucking victim in your story. He didn't hold her down. No, no. Okay, Ronnie's pouring drinks down her throat and no, she's enjoying no, it. No, and she's, she's enjoying she's it. pouring drinks down yeah, her throat. Yeah, you know, they're, they're drinking together. <laughs> he got her a lap dance. I'm not complaining. Right. You know, he got right. her a massage. They're having fun. I'm happy that my wife, for once in her life, is happy with me. Okay. She wasn't and happy with you. She, she was, was happy, happy with Ronnie. With Ronnie. Uh, yeah, she was happy. <laughs> she was away from me, and Ronnie was making her happy. And I was right. happy that Ronnie was make, doing it. So I'm at the blah, 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 blah. Fast forward. Everybody's bullshitting. Uh, it's a quarter to two. We got to catch a 207 train. There's okay. six of us. They go into the car. I go get my buddy Chris who came with us. I go to get Chris. I can't find him. He's out getting his, you know, dance or whatever. I finally find him. I go, Chris, we got to go. He goes, let me finish my dance. I go, all right, two more minutes. I'm waiting for him. I get a phone call. It's my buddy Ian in the car with, the, with my wife. There's four of them. He goes, we're in the car. We got to go. I go, I said, go. I'll catch the next cab behind you. Okay. Uh, yeah, exactly. This is where it all starts. <laughs> I got a lot of drinks in me. I'm not really keeping track of time. As he's getting a dance, a girl comes over and goes, I'd like to give you a dance. I said, well, you know, I could get in the car, get behind them. What's five more minutes? <laughs> so that dance goes by. But when that dance ends, Chris happens to get another dance I have to wait for him. And I said, I figured it out. I go, I could still do this. I could get in a cab right away. I'll give this guy an extra 10 bucks. We'll get Get right in, and I'll catch the train. One thing leads to another. I look down at my watch. I missed the train. I'm like, oh, shit. Well, I talk to Chris. I go, Chris, we missed the train. He goes, don't worry. We could catch the 235. He goes, this is what we'll do. We get two more dances, and you call your wife up and say you're on the train behind her. Right. I go, perfect. I'm 15 minutes behind. We get a couple of dances. I start doing some shots with him. Oh, my goodness. And I kind of black out. All of a sudden, I'm on the couch. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the couch, and my phone is buzzing in my pants. I think it's a phone call. It's, it's not. It's a voicemail. I pick it up. It goes, I hear, Sal, uh, I'm on the train with your wife, and she's throwing up all over the place. Where are you? <laughs> so I go, holy shit. I turn to Chris. I panic. I jump up. I turn to Chris. I go, dude, we got to catch the 235. We got it. He goes, 235. He goes, it's a quarter to four. I go, oh, my God. I look at my, I look, I look at my voicemail. The fo that phone call came in at 2.40. Oh, no, 2.20. Oh, She's no. already home already. So now it's 4.40 in the morning. Jesus. A uh, quarter to four in the morning. I go, Chris, what do we do? He goes, well, we're stuck here. We don't have any trains. So we waited till the place closed. Then we got a ride home. I got home at about 6.15 in the morning. Oh, my God. So my you wife missed your wife's illness. Yeah, I missed everything. Of course. She's laid out on the bed. Uh, she's got red She's got red maraschino cherries crammed around her lips from throwing them up, I guess, from the drinks. Wow. He said she had alcohol poisoning. And, uh, oh. you know, so the thing is, you know, don't drink uh, when you go out with your wife to a strip club. Oh. Unless, is that the moral? <laughs> no, here's the moral. Unless don't you, bring your wife to a strip club. Exactly. There you go. That's why you're Howard Stern. Uh, you got yeah, it. I mean, so, what are you doing? Uh, what is it, Ron? Well, I told him that right from the beginning. Yeah, I mean, what is When that? we were at the comedy club, I said, what, what are you doing? Yeah. It's idiotic. <laughs> Ron Ron's disgusted. He did. He did. Yeah. Ronnie was and then, and then I said, then I said to him, I said, nothing, nothing, Sal. I said, you know, don't bring a hundred people with you to the strip club. Right. What does he do? He brings half a Hickville no. with him. No, no, half a Long Island. Hold on, came wait a minute. Wait a club. minute. Wait a minute. I brought six okay. people with me, and then other people came. I said to the guy in the front, I go, I told Ronnie only six. Who were those two? The other, those other two guys who wound up there at the end? The interns. No, the, no, no, no. Yeah, how they wind up there? They were at the show, and they found out we were going to the club. But they came in. They paid. They, everybody was, was a gentleman. Nobody was breaking balls or anything. No. I don't, Dude, I'm not saying that. I, all I'm saying is this, is that it happened with me. I, I try to give my wife a good time, and uh, no, I really— right. Now, wait a minute. Now, but now let let's get something straight. I, your wife, wife, I wasn't no, pouring I mean, any drinks down, Christine. She was drinking. Yeah, she, every no. time she'd finish, she was drinking, I could tell you, she was drinking orange vodka with 7-Up. And every time the glass was almost empty, mm. she would be going— mm -hmm. I need another drink, and I don't care right. where my husband is. Where is my husband? But I don't care where he is, because he was no. Half the night, he was nowhere to be found. Yeah, we didn't this even was know a where night he out was. With your wife what are you and you doing? With I knew where all. I was, Howard. You guys are doomed. <laughs> I knew and where then, I was. And <laughs> then wait, the best part I was, was a, leak. a shot. Girl, the shot girl comes over with a straight vodka in the bottle, and she's sitting there doing shots one after the other. 
Wow. My wife does. I see. This is a different side of my wife that I well, never saw. Why didn't saw. you hang with her? I did, but I wanted get her to have get fun. You, but get some dances with her and let her like maybe get some I, lesbo action. I did. I did. I mean, Ronnie no, was, you Ronnie Dude, was the you major were no D. Way, yeah, pussy that night. You know where to be found. You Ronnie make... was hanging out with her more. Than yeah, and I was happy Dude, for her you're because finished. Listen to me. When it's I go, over. Hold on, Howard. Please. You were like great. Ronnie's taking her off my hands. Sounds mad no. that he got to see a side of his wife that only the emotional friend got to see. Dude, that was a perfect time. Like maybe you could have gotten something going with her. Well. When she stood up and started wobbling, I knew I wasn't getting laid at home, so it, it didn't matter hanging you out. That's well 20, 20 minutes lap dances. Yeah, yeah. The other annoying thing that she kept doing, like, I was getting a lap dance, and right in the middle of it, she's like, wow, wait till your girlfriend hears about this one. Oh, oh, she was like, wow. judging lap she, dances. She's stuff. a I was spy. Like, Get yeah. the fuck out of here. You know what, Howard Jackie, she used to say it all the time. He said, never bring the wives behind enemy lines. <laughs> <laughs> so the next day, Howard, she can't talk. Huh? She, she loves a lot of lap dancing. <laughs> Her, her throat was so swollen from vomiting all night that she couldn't talk. Not only vomiting. Wow, well, hey, perfect girl. It was, it was perfect for me because she couldn't bitch and moan at me for right, not getting. Right. So I'm like, this well, is. But I, right. did, I called the doctor. I had a doctor come over, checked her out. He got her some steroids to bring the swelling down. I got her some soda. I, st- you know, I was like the Florence Nightingale of this pain in the ass for the whole <laughs> she day. She Roger Clemens? But the thing is, is that <laughs> since she couldn't talk to me, I called my buddy Ian. I go, when she was throwing up on the, on the, on the train, what was she saying? He, he said she was throwing up and going, Bleh! If I had a job right now, that cocksucker would be out of here. Oh, <laughs> that what she said? Really? That's, oh, that sucks. Yeah. That's bad. And I, mean, that's I bad. said to her, and I said to her last night, uh, we were laying in bed. I go, I heard that when you were thrown up, you said if you had a job, I'd be out of here. And she looks at me. She goes, Honey, she goes, I take care of the kids. I drive the bus. She goes, I got two jobs, and you're not leaving. So I'm like, all right. I, I don't know. Kind of romantic. Like, kind of, it was like almost uh, like the mob. You, 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 you want to hear the real? But, 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 but I mean, she looked good. Yeah, she looked She's great. loaded. You could hook her in with another chick with a lap dance, and he could have had a nice and, night. And with you know his what? Wife. The first the first lap dance she got, she was totally not into it. And as the mm-hmm. as the night went on, and the drinking went on, and, and she got first, then she got a massage. Right. And she loosened up. You could have worked her. Oh, without a doubt. Right. But she wasn't that drunk. Not for Ron. Nah, no, oh, come on. I know what you mean. Worked, so though. anyway, so the point I'm bringing out is she's having a great time. He's nowhere to be found. So at one point she goes, I go to her, Christine, you don't look so good. She goes, the room is starting to go spin around in circles. So I go to him. I go, I finally find him. I go, I think you better take her home because she's me- really messed up. He goes, Nah. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Uh, it's all right? Fine. So she goes, she goes she, I go to stand her up, and it's like she couldn't even walk. So I had to walk into the bathroom. Uh, and then Ronnie gets stuck. Then I walk into the bathroom. I walk it back, and then I go, Sal, you got to get her out of here. Okay. I did. And I wait, wait, wait. So he gets her outside. He gets her in the cab with the friends. And he leaves her. Yeah, I just wait, told that story. Right. So I leave like 15, 20 minutes later, and I, I figure I want to see. I called him on his cell phone to see how she was. <laughs> he goes, I don't know. I heard she threw up in Penn Station. I go, what do you mean? He goes, I'm still at the club. <laughs> you're talking to a guy in the club when yeah, you're in the club. He was still in the fucking club. Wow. I wasn't throwing up. I was in perfect right. condition. Thank you, Ron right. And I want to thank... Uh, um, thank you, sir. I want to thank headquarters, too. Wonderful place. I, I still right. think it's funnier that Gary's born in Vegas. <laughs> if I could get one good thing out of this... What do you think was funny, Ralph? That Gary's born in Vegas. Yeah, he's born in Vegas. The only fucking moron was born in Vegas. I mean, I wish I was in Vegas. <laughs> It's unbelievable. I, Gary's unbelievable. I'm bored, boy. I can't think of a thing to do in Vegas. What do I do now? That's like the entertainment capital of the world. I sat in my room. I mean, and by the way, the guy is always the guy is always busy with his kids and his wife. He finally had time to himself. Such a fucking, hold on. If you're going to talk, let me get a fucking word in. No, fuck you. Ralph's such a, Ralph's such a legend. Look, what is there to do at 11 in the morning in the entertainment capital of the world? Besides What's there to do? You know what, There's Gary? Let Ralph answer. Mm-hmm. He's a fucking authority. All right, you could do nine million things. You could go shopping. You could go to. Uh, you can't go shopping there. Gary, his out. passion is shopping. His passion yeah, is working out. You are shop. passionless. He doesn't shop in Vegas. I always know. told that about you. Can't shop you. without your credit card. They I always some of the best shopping in the world. Again, they got every store there. Every store you go. I've to. never that's, seen a but store. But Gary, that's his passion. Artie's passion is gambling. People have passions. I mean, you're sitting in a room I twiddling have your thumbs. Passion thumb. that I could bring to Vegas. I apologize. It's brunch. called playing blackjack. I could do that for 15 fucking hours straight poker but you listen you're not gonna play blackjack for 15 hours straight if you're losing howard you you of all people all right i would stop and then i would so go do something else i'd read a book so you're there without your wife and kids for once you have a free day dude, fucking walk people? walk around just 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 fucking read a book why was it so horrible to have dinner with teddy and jd oh please be i'm gonna lock you in a room with those two robin and you'll no, see gary that book. i understand <laughs> <laughs> Three of the most anti 
antisocial people. It's one of those Gary, people. I've never. Gary, I'm saying the reason that. I'm antisocial. I'm so fascinated by myself. I don't need <laughs> anyone. But that's you go talk to your shrink about how fascinated you are about yourself. I do, and you know what, Gary? Thank God for it. My mother would say I would be in my room for a day. They wouldn't even see me. I sat there by myself. I loved it. I, I was the same way. I could announce a whole baseball game in my head where I was the right. hero. <laughs> I was to Super Bowl last night by myself. It was the best thing ever. Yeah. And then you got a little bored. You called me for a few seconds, yeah. and that's it. But the, I mean, how is this guy so bored? But in Gary's defense, like, Vegas right. is the entertainment capital for someone who's not married with three kids, faithful to their wife, I and doesn't understand. gamble. I mean, it's like, you know, plus it's not hot there right now. It's freezing. If he's bored. He can spend at least a few hours brushing those teeth. <laughs> I don't know. All right. hey, There's Rob, no winning. Thank you. <laughs> There's no winning. By the way, this weekend I was this close to Peter Dinklage. Oh, yeah, that? yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's I don't know that, who that actor, is. the little person actor. Uh, you were with a classy major. Train station. And you're attracted to him. I, yeah. And I then they told me I was in the wrong aisle, that I needed to go another aisle over, so I never got to speak to him. Oh, uh, you didn't say, hey, I'm attracted no. to you, even though you're a midget? No, and he was alone. See, wow. that's how I know you're more sophisticated than I am. Like, so Somehow you were with Peter Dinklage. I was with Minnie Trump. <laughs> hey, real quick, I just want to get to this because there's a bunch of things to get to. Uh, Benji also was. Uh, by the way, in Jim Florentine and you, did you work it out? Remember his? If you yeah. remember on our last show, I don't know the break. <laughs> Uh, Jim had on his web page. It wasn't on his web page. It was on some college oh. message board or something. Oh, okay. It was an ad All right, that it. had been put there by his agency. It was. So in other words, you two are still tight. We're fine. Did you watch the Super Bowl with him? Yes, I did. Oh, you did? Oh. <laughs> That's big. That's big. That's big. That's big? Where, at his place? No. Let me. Your you know place? What? No. Where? Did you go to a bar? Hotel. No. Hotel. A hotel? No. Oh, my God. You were in a hotel. No. I was not in a hotel. A tete-a-tete? <laughs> you know what? How like, did you guys make it fun for this? Like, what were you doing, like, during Super Bowl? Like, where, like We who... were at his uh, brother's house. Mm. Oh, oh you know what, Howard? I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you something, and this is gonna prove how close they are. Oh, here we go. Who is Jimmy Florentine's favorite football team? The Miami Dolphins. Oh my God, she does know him. <laughs> she does know. She's she didn't even Dolphin. know that about Mr. X. She was with him seven wow, years. Wow, he's a Dolphin. You were at Jim's brother. Which he has like 17 brothers, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> does his brother look like him? Uh, there's a family resemblance. Was the brother nice to you? Yes. So it's you, Jim, and the brother. And no, it was his whole family. Mm. Oh. Oh. oh, my God. I've... We have a winner. <laughs> what do you mean his Stop whole family? It. Like who? Um, His mother, all of his brothers and sisters. His mother? And nieces and nephews. So he took you to meet his mother? No, he took me to, to the Super Bowl party. <laughs> <laughs> a Super Bowl party with his mother. <laughs> what do you call his mother, Mom? No, I called her by her first name. What's her first name? Diane. Diane. And did you two have, like, girl talk in the kitchen and shit? No, we didn't spend a lot of time talking to each other. <laughs> was she into you, or was she, like, not getting your whole thing? She was very sweet. Thing? She came out to greet me when I first got there. Do you think they liked know. you? Because if they don't, that could kill things. I think they liked me. What'd you wear? <laughs> did you show the titties? Oh, oh, here we go. The kick is up, the kick is no good, we got a dandy. Jim, did your mom see the titties? <laughs> nah, she told embarrassing stories about how big my balls were when I was born. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that is embarrassing. So we snuck mom... away during halftime. I entered her end zone. So, like, you were a couple with his mom there. <laughs> wow, that's mm. a big, come on, don't downplay yeah. this. You know that's big. Were you nervous? Well, sure, meeting a person's entire family, sure. Mom, whatever you do, don't fart in front of her. Uh, <laughs> Did you hold hands in front of the mom? <laughs> what? Did you hold hands in front of the mom? That's no, we didn't hold hands in front of his mom. Did Why not? Kiss? But I felt her up in front of my brother. <laughs> Did you kiss him in front of the mom? <laughs> I, no, I don't go around kissing people in front of Did he people. have his arm around you during the game? Mm -hmm. We held hands during the game. Oh. <laughs> and she was wearing a skirt. A I, what? She was wearing a skirt. <laughs> I guarantee Florentine has never held hands with a broad through the Super Bowl. Uh, mm. That's a little This is big. Did you wear a little mini uh, sundress? No, I was wearing Like little pants. Annie Fanny, like everything pouring out? No. <laughs> All your assets <laughs> on, on this flight? You, you have to think about what you're going to wear in front of his mom, right? She looks like she had two Vince Lombardi trophies in her top. <laughs> <laughs> wow, big step, Robin. Don't be ridiculous. Didn't realize. Mm. Super Bowl with Jim's family and the mom. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Did you go in the kitchen with the girl? Like he has sisters, I guess. Yes. Did you go? Did you go in the kitchen with the sisters and the mom and like bond with them? Well, I I sat with his sisters and we talked for a while. Yeah. Even while the game was on. No, like the girls no, no. Get bored? Once the, the game started, we just watched the game. But beforehand, like you sat there with them and you were polite and like listened to their fucking bullshit. Oh, they were great people. It yeah. wasn't li- like torture. I enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What I mean, this is that? serious. No, yeah, that's. Really I didn't serious. know we were up to this. <laughs> Here this is really go. escalating. I was like, this must go. be serious. What Nigga, I'm in voting and shit. What do you make of that? I, I think this is a wonderful little romance. <laughs> Ooh, Would you put 78000 on that uh, whole thing working? No. Look at this. With the I families. There's great... Families. Yeah, yeah. There's great love in the air. The whole really mishpucha. <laughs> the whole mishpucha. <laughs> yeah, that Italian term, <laughs> mishpucha. <laughs> wow. Man. It was a Super Bowl party. It was a super no. love party. That's amazing. I got to ask Robert a question, and this isn't about you and Jimmy at all. It's a favor. Oh. We're doing a bit on the show, and I need one more couple. Would you guys play the newlywed game against They'll George, win. George no. Takei? No, George Takei and Brad. No, they've been together uh, 5,000 years. Give it a and shot. And Blue Iris and her husband, would you play an Evil Dave and his girlfriend? Would Me you and Dana couple? did good after only a few months yeah. together. <laughs> That's when you know shit me. about each other. Robin, don't be afraid. Do it. <laughs> don't be afraid. Not doing that. <laughs> wow. I guess you just don't care about this show. Uh, oh, that's how you were raised. <laughs> wow. The mother. I mean, that's it. You're meeting the, fi- you, you know. Wow. He brought you home to the mother. Uh, this is serious. Please. It was. I a think Super proposals going to be happening soon. You kidding? Please. We're moving fast track here. This I'm shit a- is serious. <laughs> <laughs> You're not kidding. You know, I'm you like, keep- damn, it looks like they're hiring up on that motherfucker. <laughs> you keep carrying on, like, wow. just because you're doing it, everybody has to do it. Wow, you do, do whatever that. you want. <laughs> I'm, I'm jealous. I, the only relationship I can make work is with a whore. <laughs> Honestly, that's the the, 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 the best oh, I've stop. had. Is this woman that I like. You so know, marry her. I may do it. Mm. <laughs> Valentine's Day proposal out of the question. Ooh, wow. Yes. That would be fast. <laughs> you mean me and the whore? No. <laughs> oh. Jimmy yeah, and Robin. Maybe you and Artie. Uh, Mary Ann from Brooklyn, go ahead. Robin, when I see Jim smile, Robin, I cannot believe it. You know what I got to ask you, Robin? What? I think that you should play that newlywed game because you probably know more about Jim than you ever knew about Mr. X. You have to watch You got a zero with you. Mr. X. That's right. We matched on Robin, nothing. Do it for me. This is the hot moment of the year. Forget how and bet, though. It's Robin and Jim. I would like to monitor at this point, even if it's not a newlywed game, but just how much Jim knows right. about you. Like, I could ask him questions. <laughs> Knowing the Dolphins would be. You know, I mean, yeah, the fact that you know the Dolphins, which right. indicates to me you know him, but does he know you? I bet you he does. We gotta find out how yeah. how, how many uh, weeks you've been going out with him? How many months? Six. Six oh, months? it has been six months. Is no. it really six months? Uh, it's I, I think it was talk. August. Well, I've been August, September, September October, November, 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 November. Yeah, August. Uh, <laughs> six months. Marianne from Brooklyn's advent calendar. <laughs> Does he know you well enough to get ten percent or twenty percent of the questions right? You have to. I do don't know. Well, you're a betting woman. Oh, Come on. He knows. All right, Gary, book the Jim Florentine oh, game. I want to see what he knows. Does he know you well enough to get 10 or 20% of your net worth? (laughs) Do you two have like a secret anniversary date? Like, you know, like when you officially really started going out, like something like gay like that? Do you have that? Yeah. Oh, my God. What is your date? I'm not telling. Oh, come on. What's your anniversary? What is your anniversary? It's a secret. Why, Robin? Do you think we'd make fun of it or something? (laughs) We would make fun of that. Mm -hmm. Wow. The mother. Mother. Does super he look- serious on Super Bowl Sunday. Super Robin. serious. <laughs> I'm dying, Robin. Is this the first time you met his mother? Yeah. How wow. about uh, brothers, sisters? Have you met them before? I met one brother before. Six months in and already yeah. meeting the parents? This is serious. <laughs> this is serious. It is. It is. <laughs> Let's be honest. I'll be honest. You ain't bringing, you know, just anyone home to that party. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And this this girl's presentable. Well, I'm acceptable. I can. That's hang what I said. In, uh, this girl's this girl's presentable. I said. Yeah, right. <laughs> so. You ain't no Condoleezza. Doesn't mean anything. I'm I'm good to take home. <laughs> she can't lie to my supervisor. He ain't sick. He's drunk. Give me the phone, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, Robin, good for you. Good for me. I'd, and you would say it went well. Any awkward moments? Uh, no. And you think they liked you? 
I like them. Do you think they were disturbed by the fact that you are an interracial couple? No. You don't think it was an issue? No. You don't think there was talk afterwards? No. Oy vey, a schwarze. <laughs> Nothing like that. How about his, no, I know his brother. You didn't, you didn't sense that, that racial divide? No, not at all. I know uh-huh. his brother a little bit, and he didn't slip up and go, tackle that little n- uh, guy. <laughs> he would never do it. You're making a joke, right? Of course. <laughs> yeah. Not Jim, his brother. And there was a right. joke anyway about his brother. You don't even know the brother. I, I do know him, but no. he never do it. Okay. Did they ask to touch your hair? Oh, you have such ah! different hair. <laughs> Nothing happen. like that. Can we Nothing see your extra like bone? Happen. Did anyone, like, bring up black stuff to show how liberal they were? Like, no. you know, we really Nothing love black like people. Nothing. Nothing. Hey, Mom, bring out that carving of Marcus Garvey. <laughs> right, right. Remember that episode of Good Times? Yeah. What, uh, what's up? I got to ask Robin. Robin, have you met Jim's friend, uh, Crackfinger? No. Jim has this friend. I met him at Rocklahoma. And he's famous <laughs> for when people pass out at parties, he sticks his finger in his own ass oh, and puts God. it up to people's nose oh. to wake him up. <laughs> and he's like him. one of Jim's best friends. So Jim, wondering... Jim, like Jim dumped that guy <laughs> but when he started dating Rob. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sure he's taking that guy home. <laughs> I want to introduce you to Crackfinger. <laughs> Robin ain't meeting Crackfinger ever. <laughs> Mom, his here's friend, Crackfinger. And Crackfinger was so funny at Rocklahoma. He was doing this thing I've never seen before. I even love Rocklahoma. He, Washing? He had, no, well, he had gym shorts on. <laughs> He was drinking a beer. He'd lift his gym shorts up and piss everywhere while he was walking. Nothing like, like a guy who does that. Uh, <laughs> man, Robin, he's you my favorite. You haven't seen any side of him like that yet. No. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. You'll meet Crackfinger one of these oh, days. Yeah. yeah. Marry Jim, you'll meet Crackfinger. Crackfinger. He's the man, the man with the smelly touch. <laughs> Crackfinger will be your, uh, probably his best man. Oh, my God. And and the, this was the greatest thing Crackfinger ever did. Oh. We were on the plane to Rocklahoma, going, uh-huh. flying to Tulsa. Crackfinger had a massive zit on his forehead, <laughs> right. like a white pussy zit. He goes into the bathroom before me, oh. and I go in the bathroom after him. There's white pus covering the mirror oh in the bathroom. God. Oh, my God. Oh. Jesus. What is with these guys? And he had to wear a big Band-Aid on his forehead the whole weekend. Boy, that ain't the gym you know, huh? No. You got this refined gym. <laughs> Well, this isn't Jim. This is Crackfinger, no, his but, friend. But, like, that's what Jim likes. Yeah. Oh, Jim loves Crackfinger. <laughs> right. And yet Robin doesn't even... If, if Robin met Crackfinger, that would even be bigger than the mother. <laughs> Maybe that's yeah, then it's it serious if you meet uh, Crackfinger. All right, thank you. I got to take a break. <laughs> this Jim finger. that she's with discusses oh, Nietzsche yeah. and Plato with her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the theater. By the way, Christmas Addicts, one of my favorites. 